I do not encourage or condone the use of tobacco or cannabis products, and if you're under the age of 18, you can go ahead and get out of here right now. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be talking a little bit about why I used to hate, absolutely hate, spending time alone in any way, shape, or form. I used to hate literally having a moment alone at all, but now I don't. I actually look forward to having time alone now, which is kind of crazy. Maybe it's just me growing up, maybe it's just me maturing a little bit, but uh, yeah. Today, I'm going to be smoking a little bit of a Camel Turkish Jade cigarette and talking a little bit about why I've started enjoying being alone just a little bit more. But yeah, without further ado, y'all, I think I'm going to go ahead and get one of these cigarettes out of the packaging and uh, go ahead and get this lit up and start talking a little bit about what I just said. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> but yeah, why have I started enjoying being alone more? Or actually, that's the wrong thing to say at the beginning of the video. Why did I used to hate being alone? I think the simple fact was that I was scared of spending time with my own thoughts. I was scared of my, my own thoughts. I was scared of thinking. And to combat that, I just spent as much time as I could with my family, and I just spent as much time as I could with my friends, and I never really gave any time to myself. I never really enjoyed what I wanted to enjoy because I always wanted to enjoy time with other people. But being alone and the idea of being alone and the enjoyment of being alone has really given me a lot of time to think and a lot of time to just enjoy time by myself. And it's led me to realize, and it was kind of scary at first, it was kind of scary at first having time to myself and being alone by myself. Uh, when I moved into my first apartment, um, not have with, with a room by myself, with no roommates in my same room kind of thing, I was just kind of lost. I didn't really know what to do. I didn't really think about, man, what, what, what am I going to do with all this time kind of thing? Because I didn't realize how much time I would just have to myself to just be thinking kind of thing. I would be productive kind of thing for sure, but... I would still have like 20 minutes, 5 minutes, just even some time to just enjoy kind of thing. and Or, or just to not even enjoy. It. I, I, I hated it. I didn't really think it was going to be a good time. But it really quickly became, it was probably within the first month I was living by myself. I was living by myself with no roommates who lived in the same room with me. That I was kind of like, man, I actually kind of look forward to this time. I enjoyed the nights. I enjoyed the, the time I had by myself because I could just sit there and I could just do what I wanted to do. I didn't have to think about what other people wanted to think. I didn't have to do what other people wanted to do. I could just enjoy time by myself. I was used, I was so used to doing what other people wanted to do, yet I never really gave any time to consider what I wanted to do. So having alone time really gave me time to really do what I wanted to do. And, and a lot of times doing what I want to do is just watching YouTube or editing videos or making videos and talking to you guys or even just the 15 minutes when I go outside and smoke a cigarette when I'm at my girlfriend's place, I appreciate that time by myself kind of thing because I like it when she comes outside. I like it when my girlfriend comes outside and sits next to me when I smoke and we talk and kind of thing. But it's also it's also kind of nice when I just have some alone time um, kind of thing. It's also, it's also nice. Um, and just being able to appreciate that makes me so much more appreciative of life because a lot of life you're going to be spending by yourself commute to work, you're going to be spending that by yourself. You don't want to hate your commute to work because you can't see somebody, because you can't enjoy your time by yourself. You want to enjoy it. You want to enjoy every single part of my li of your life, at least in my opinion. I try to enjoy every single part of my life, no matter what I, no, what, no matter what it is, even when I'm going through the worst time of my life. I had a, a really hard part last March um, where I was going through a really hard time in my life and um, from multiple different things. I'm not going to speak on it in this video because it's... Um, Still stuff I can't really talk about on video, but I was going through a very hard part in my life kind of thing, and I was spent most of my time by myself. It was, I had probably almost a full week by myself, and I enjoyed it. Frankly put, I hated it. I hated that time of my life, but I enjoyed it. It was great kind of thing. It, it, like, it wasn't great per se. What was going on it sucked. It really did suck. It was very, uh, it, was, it was very, um, I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but, um, it sucked, but having that time where I could just sit there and be like, okay, what do I want to do? Oh man, I wanted to play Grand Theft Auto 4 for like the longest time. I have it, but I just haven't had any time to play it because I've been spending so much time with my family, with my girlfriend. And don't get me wrong, I've made videos about why I love spending time with my family and why I love uh, spending time with other people and why I love spending time with friends kind of thing before. And I do, I really do. I, I appreciate that time so much and it's some of my favorite time to spend with people is spending time with my friends and family, my loved ones basically. But being alone... Man, I really just let this go out. That FSC actually worked for once. <sighs> but just being alone with my own thoughts is actually really nice. And I used to not really think so. I was so scared of my own thoughts. I was so scared of 
having just time to myself and not knowing what to do with that time. I used to, when I was by myself in high school, I used to, and I apologize if this video is coming off as whiny, I, I've made a video kind of similar to this, more of a philosophical discussion um, video before, uh, uh, a little bit ago, and uh, I also asked, I also was like, hey, click off this video if it comes off as whiny, and I'm going to say this thing, the same thing in this video, if this video comes off as whiny or anything like that, just click off, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm just making this as a philosophical discussion. Um, but I used to really be scared of being alone with my thoughts. I think mainly because I didn't really know what to do with my time. I didn't really have any, like, goals in life. I didn't really have anything. I was like, okay, so this is what I'm going to do with my time. But now I'm kind of sitting here and I'm kind of like, okay, what do I want to do with my time when I'm by myself? Well, usually when I'm by myself, I go record a video or I go edit videos or I uh, talk to you guys and I respond to comments and stuff like that or I go play a video game or I go watch some YouTube or something like that. And it's just nice. Even when, 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 my, even when I'm with my girlfriend, we actually set time to ourselves kind of thing. Even if we're sitting right next to each other in bed or something like that or on the couch or something like that, we still have that time where I'm just kind of like, okay, I want to watch YouTube. You want to watch TikTok? Well, let's do that. Let's hang out together and do our own thing. I'll pop in an earbud or something like that, and she'll pop in ear her earbuds, and I'll watch YouTube, and she'll watch TikTok or vice versa or something like that. Or if I want to go cook, I'll go cook, and she'll just hang out on her phone kind of thing. It's nice to just be able to enjoy time by yourself with other people, but also to be able to just be alone. And the fact that I used to be so scared of my own thoughts, that to be that to be so scared of spending time by myself because I just didn't know what to do with my time, seems stupid to me now. It, it really does. It seems so dumb to me now. And maybe, I, I really do think that this whole sort of um, clarity, not really clarity, that's not really the right, 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 the right word for it, this whole sort of um, idea of me being more, in, of, of me kind of enjoying time by myself now, has really come through me kind of maturing a little bit. As I said, the main time when I was scared of spending time by myself was in high school. I wasn't the most mature person in high school, for sure. I, I like to think of, I like to think of myself as somewhat mature in high school. Was I mature? Not in my opinion. I'm in my personal opinion. I'm much more mature now. But I was so scared of spending time by myself in high school, and now I'm not. And I'm so scared because I'm no longer scared of being alone with my thoughts. I'm no longer scared of having to figure out what I want to do by myself, of making decisions for myself. And now that I I, I can make decisions for myself by spending time by myself, I kind of want to make decisions for myself all the time. And I've actually had to kind of lay it back a little bit when I'm hanging out with friends and stuff. They want to do something, and I'm like, no, 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 I would much rather do that. And then I'm like, wait, I'm hanging out with people. I can't just make that decision for myself and for us. I have to actually consider their, their opinions kind of thing. I have to consider what they want to do. I can't just make that decision for myself because, well, that's very rude and inconsiderate. Um, and I have to kind of lay it back. I've gotten so used to making decisions by myself, I'm not used to making decisions with other people now, which is funny because I spend the majority of my time with other people, with my family, with friends, with my girlfriend, etc. kind of thing. Um, so it's, it's uh, very nice that I now enjoy actually spending time by myself, and I, I really do appreciate it now. It's very nice, and if I look back, just even two, three years from, from, from now kind of thing, just two, three years ago, I wouldn't have ever thought that I would have enjoyed time by myself, which is very weird. I would have never really thought that I would have enjoyed time by myself, that I would have enjoyed just a little bit of alone time, but here I am now, talking about it on YouTube to you guys kind of thing. So uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing to think about, but I'm very surprised that I'm able to talk about it like this, and I'm very surprised that it's become part of my life that I really enjoy. I enjoy spending time by myself. The, the drive to here from my, from my house was very nice. I just got to be there and kind of just chill out and kind of just zone out while I was driving, just listen to some music. It was very nice. It was some time to myself. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. After, I, after I'm done uh, talking to you guys, um, I'm going to go back home. I'm going to talk to my dad a little bit, talk to my mom. She's getting back from a trip today. And uh, I'm going to enjoy some time with them. And maybe I'll go hang out with friends later. I'm not going to really have any more alone time tonight. Um... But having that time where I can just be by myself, it really just helps me center and it really just helps me um, appreciate the time I have with other people more kind of thing. The time I have by myself helps me appreciate the time I have with other people more. I think really because um, I miss spending time with them when I'm by myself. But I also, when I'm spending time with other people, I miss, spend, I miss the time where I'm alone kind of thing, which is, 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 a, is amusing. It's a little bit of a paradox. I enjoy spending time with other people, yet... Uh, when I'm with other people, I want to spend time by myself, and when I'm by myself, I want to spend time with other people. It's a little bit of a paradox. Um, it's weird. It's weird, but it's certainly not a complaint. It's a good thing, in my opinion. Um, certainly not an issue. But, uh, yeah. I hope you guys, uh, I don't hope, per se, 
I do uh, feel like a lot of you guys can relate to this, though. And let me know if you guys can relate to this. If you guys can relate this to this, uh, comment your uh, opinions, your experiences in the comments down below, of course. Let me know what your guys' opinion is uh, on this video in the comments down below. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much all I had to say, though, but I've still got a bunch of a cigarette left because this was not burning. It just went out all on its own. That FSC actually worked. Normally, the FSC doesn't work, but the FSC actually worked in this, you know what I'm saying? So, very, very surprising and a uh, very, very good deal. I know I've been making some more philosophical videos these days. Let me know if you guys enjoy the philosophical videos. I hope you guys do, because I really, I love making philosophical videos like this. Um, so, let me know if you guys do enjoy them. I hope they don't come off as whiny or anything like that. I just enjoy making them. So, I hope you guys enjoy watching them, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get another one. Uh, let's go ahead and get another hit, though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cannot complain in the least. In the least. You know what I'm saying? Man, 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 man. Cannot complain in the least. But, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much going to be the video. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the C, and then I'm going to go ahead and finish off the video. As said, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this video in the uh, comments down below. I'm always curious to find out what your guys' opinion is. And, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and finish this off. Man, 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 man. <sighs> Cannot complain at all. Cannot complain in the least. Let me put it that way. <sighs> oh man, I think I got one more hit left. So let's go ahead and take that. And now that I've now that I've finished this off, I actually really want another cigarette. But uh, that's how addiction goes. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> but uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram and my book in the description down below. Highly recommend you guys check both those out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Until the next one, stay safe and peace. Go check out my merch, everything in the description down below. And as said, let me know if you guys actually enjoyed this video, and let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future. But yeah, until the next one, guys, stay safe and peace. Enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your smoke. You know what I'm saying? Have a great one, y'all. Stay safe out there.